people should rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we want to appreciate you for everything you have been doing for us. If it were not you in our life, we would not have been here talking. Your faithfulness, your mercy, endure it forever. Father, we want to appreciate you. Be that exalted in Jesus' name. As we want to pray. And we have converged here to meet with you, our Savior. Father, answer our prayers in Jesus' name. And at the end of this prayer meeting, Lord, let there be testimony in the name of Jesus. Thank you, victorious Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. I want us to uh, just take some moments and just appreciate God in our life. Just open your mouth and say, God, I thank you. In everything you do, I thank you. For being alive, I know it's of your mercy. It's of your intercession. If not so, only God knows what the devil would have done. Many a times they've come to claim our soul. Many a times they've, they've, they've tried to cause calamity. But Lord, each of their moves, you are always there. Please open your mouth and appreciate him. Open your mouth and appreciate God. Open your mouth and appreciate this God. He's a loving God. He's a loving Father. He's our Father and our God. Bless the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lord, I thank you for section of worship. I pray now in the name of Jesus that as we begin the prayer, you will partner with us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. I want you to turn your Bible with me to the book of Colossians, chapter 2. The book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 14. Colossians, chapter 2, verse 14. God has something to show us in the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 15, sorry. 2, verse 15. It says, And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. I'll take it one more time. Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in all in it. When you talk of principalities, they are the ones that holds the power. Then we now have principality, we now have powers. The powers are the authorities. Principality are the proposal. The powers are the authority that activate the proposal. It's just like when you talk about the president and then you talk about the lawmaker. The principality brings a proposal. The powers put authority on it. And so once they put authority on it, then it becomes activated. Now, having spoiled principalities, having spoiled powers, he made a show of them openly. Now, let it not be said again that the devil is powerful. Let it not be heard that there are any battle that is greater than our God, because the one we serve is called the Almighty. The one we serve, the one we pray to, is the one that is greater than principality. Is the one that is greater than power. How do you know that Jesus overcame principality? How do you know that Jesus overcame power? In the part B of this verse 15, he says, he made a show of them openly. <laughs> he did not say he made, a, he made a show of them privately. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Uh, so he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Now, triumphing over who? Triumphing over principality? Triumphing over who? Triumphing over powers. 
And so, when you are talking of the highest hierarchy in place of power, there are in no other place than principality and power. That's why the Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against power. Which other power is higher than principality? No other one. No other one in the, in, 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 in the satanic realm. No other one, principality. No other one, power. And now, Jesus Christ himself triumphed over them. And our prayer tonight is not to principality, it's not to power. It's not to one bragging personality that will say, I have the power to pull down, I have the power to heal, I have the power to cause accident. Then when you hear that that which is or that which is coming to your house, then you run away from the house. And when you hear that they want to come visit it, all you do is to just package yourself and just run away and carry yourself far so that they will not come and see you. It is a good news to let you know that Jesus Christ overcame principality, the devil. Overcame powers, rulers of darkness in high places. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them. If Christ triumphed over them, you will triumph over them. Amen? If God have victory over the devil, you will have victory over the devil. If God destroy works of darkness, you will destroy the work of darkness. Because the Bible says, that which I do, greater things than that you will do. And so, it's time to go before the Lord. It's time to triumph over our enemy. It's time to pull down territories. But then, before you can fight against principality, before you can fight against power, understand, though, we are not fighting against witches. They are the smallest in rank. As small as they are, they are very destructive. We are not fighting witches today. We are not fighting uh, demons today, which are also the idol. Demons don't die. They remain there. They transfer power from one witches to another witches. From another court to another court. idol. And now we are fighting over the highest rank, principalities and powers. The only people that can fight this battle are those that know their God. See, they that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. The only people that can fight in this realm are people that are called out, people that have laid everything at the altar, people that are not, not withholding anything, people that believe in God and God's totality, people that believe the efficacy in his word, people that believe in the Almighty are the only ones that can fight this battle. Because tonight we will triumph. If Christ triumphs, if my father in heaven triumph, then you will triumph in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to look at yourself. What are you looking at in yourself, Lord? There might have been things I am doing that my consciousness is not even there, that this is a sin. Or that God is not happy with. He say your sin has stand as barrier between you and your God. I don't know if you have had this experience before. You pray, 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 and it looks like your heaven is closed. And it looks like Jesus is far away from you. Your God is far away from you. I, what are those things you see? When you pray and you are not seeing the prayer come to pass. What do you think happened there? It is because there is a barrier between you and your God. Because our God is a living God. Let me tell you how quick that God is. Elijah says, if I be a man of God, let fire come down and consume you in your fifty. 
it's not a one second. Uh, uh, oh, just, let's just wait and let's see if it will happen or not. It's not a one minute thing. You say it and it happens immediately. And so, if there have been challenges, if there have been obstacles, I am letting you know today that our prayer, the first prayer we are going to pray is to take away that obstacle. The first prayer to pray is to remove the stumbling block. Once the stumbling block is out, then we can penetrate. Once the stumbling block is out, we have direct access to our Father. When the veil is teared down, then we have access to our God. And now that that liberty is given unto us, let the devil not rob you of it tonight. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, is there, if there is anything standing against me, if there is anything standing as a barrier, if there is anything that want to stop my movement, I want to stop my prayer life, Lord, tonight I pray you will remove it. I pray you will take it away from me. Somebody open your mouth and pray. I want to hear you pray. I want to hear you pray. Please, somebody pray. Take away this obstacle. Now, in Jesus' name, we pray. Now, we are ready to fight this battle now. If you have prayed that prayer, then we are ready for that battle. Now, I want to tell you, I have told you the dirty arms in the cadres of darkness. I told you we have the principalities and powers. They are in one place. I told you we have the demons, <clears throat> which are the idols. Idols from our father's house, our parents' house. Those idols don't die. That's the second arm. The third arm <clears throat> are the witches. These are the agents of darkness around us. If we will not pull down this ancient altar, the idol will not leave. Like I said, it doesn't die, but it can leave. The power is there. The authority is there. Triumphing over them, we can move this mountain. You are going to pray. Every family idol that is working against my destiny, that is speaking negative things against my future. Ha. Holy Spirit, clear them out in the name of Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Family, I don't think it's my Something destiny in the name of Jesus. Away. Something needed to be pulled we'll out. Consume them in Jesus. I don't think that I walk against my life. Against my family, family. I don't. Foundational idol. Maternal idol. Maternal idol. Maternal idol. I package them together, walking against my destiny. There are I idols that are designated for premature death. There are idols that are designated for sickness, diverse sicknesses and diverse pain. There are idols that are there for poverty. You walk and walk and walk, there is no difference. You are putting everything, oh, but Jesus. it is not working. Pray, it is this idol. I pray. It is this idol. No. If Jesus can overcome, you can overcome. If Jesus no. triumph no. over no. principality, no. you are a child of God. That sickness cannot kill you. That pain cannot kill you. Yes. Open yes. your yes. mouth and pray to Jesus. Open your mouth and wrestle tonight. I like the way Jacob wrestled. Jacob care less who hears my voice. Jacob wow. care less if others will be saved. He put his family somewhere. Let me first of all solve my own problem. And he came to fight a battle. He fight a battle. You know, the battle of that Jacob fought. It always inspired me to pray. If Jacob had prayed a serious prayer and a personality appeared to him, that was the beginning of success for Jacob. 
You two can pray tonight. You two can call upon the name of the Lord. And I tell you, God can answer. God can answer that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. You are the some idols are there. Everywhere you go, they follow. Kiss my prospect. Kiss my. Your business is not working anymore. Kiss my. Kiss my. The hardship in town is seriously unbearable now. Why? Because there is an idol. There is an idol. In the name of Jesus. Our family idol. Jesus' name. I'm the And I've been spoiled principalities and power. Andre, my wife. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. I make it of me first in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that this happens. All this thing you are experiencing, and you are going through as we speak, they are the handwriting of the ordinances of the devil. Remember, he already blotted it out. This time around, he overcame them. He's not overcoming them privately, he overcame them publicly. He made a public show of them, triumphing over them all. Any family idol. It triumph over the devil. It triumph over failure. It triumph over setback. But I pray this house to no order. The name of Jesus. There are people that are experiencing delay. I'm saying delay. Jesus. Spirit of delay. A spirit of frustration. In the name of Jesus. They say when I delay, 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 and you pray, 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 you will give up. You so old. He made a public show of them. You are the God of miracles. You are the I am that I am. Oh Lord, my God. I am I telling you as you are calling upon the name of the Lord, the Lord is hearing you. Sometimes the little prayer you pray, you don't know how powerful it is in the presence of God. He said you will decree a thing and it will be established in heaven. He said whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. I destroy that. Make it of you. You better the stop game. them before they stop you. I said, Don't have a question by the voice good. of the devil before they stop you. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I'm like, I want you to pray. God bless you as you are praying. God bless you as you are praying. Set free now in the name of Jesus. Your you prayer is in the presence of God. Sustain, oh Lord, my God, Father, I come this afternoon, oh Lord, with God, want to hear you, Father. You must do something. God God is listening to your prayers. They cannot prevail because your God had already prevailed. They cannot overcome you because your God already overcame for you. He has paid the price. The testimony and Lord and her father, any work of darkness, or the enemy are put to shame my life, Lord, in Jesus' name. It is time for God to remember you. Because as at that night, King Ahasuerus could not sleep. Because God has defeated principality and power again at all the life of Mordecai. This my school, this my business, this my husband, my children. And so once your battle is defeated in the spiritual, the physical had to bow to the spiritual. Oh Lord, my God, you're to free yourself. Fight this battle tonight. You are fighting a spiritual battle. You fight for me. Everything you want, take it to the Lord through a spiritual battle. It is my portion. It is my portion. Win this battle tonight and be free. Principalities and power. Rulers of darkness in high places. Control them in Jesus. My God and my Father have spoiled their work. My children, oh Lord, my God, catch fire! And they made a public show of them. Destroyed, catch fire! How triumphing over them! And you catch fire! The key to your destiny is not in the life of the. It's not in the hand of the devil. In the name of Jesus. In the hand of the Lord. It's in the hand of the Lord. It's in the hand of the Lord. 
Please open your mouth and pray. I want you to open your mouth and pray. Jesus, oh Lord, my God, I feel this out to me. The best thing to do in times of challenges is to go to the Lord in prayer. Elijah prayed a simple prayer and fire came from heaven. Jesus, oh Lord, my God, I pray this afternoon, oh Lord, the power of my pray today, fire will come from heaven. Father, the Holy Ghost fire will come from heaven. Your children finish the exam, there is no admission for them. Any power of any sinity, any one of the spirit, oh Lord, any power of darkness. You have been writing this exam over and over and over now. Father, tonight, this afternoon, I in the name of Holy Ghost, I have come to announce to you that Jesus has destroyed the power. Said my husband, oh, I'm my and power. God, and if I be a shitty me, I be attacking you. already overcame for you. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I come before you, oh Lord. Then I bring up them there. You are very them. important in the presence of God. Yes, sir. You are the Almighty God. Your desire I carry weight in the presence of God. That's why they you to ask. Ask anything in His name. Oh, ask God. anything in His name. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray this afternoon, O Lord, you give me the grace of oh, victory. Every assigned idol, I just told you, that principalities are like the force of president. And powers, rulers of darkness, are like the lawmakers. The principalities will send out, send out orders. Father, in the name of Jesus. Powers with stamping with authority. It becomes a legal, uh, a legal process. Oh, Father, what I is know that thing that is legal about the devil in your life? Is it to kill you? Is it to destroy your business? Is it to afflict you with sickness? You have been going through this sickness all this while. Doctor, say manage it. Manage it. Manage it. How long do you want to manage this sickness? Mine is to my children. Holy go fire consume them. Mine is to encourage you to pray. In the name of Jesus, we will consume them. Did not even see anybody to encourage him to pray. But he knew what he wanted. Afternoon, oh Lord, by yourself, oh Lord, by yourself, you are right. How will there be a crown without a responsibility? How will there be a crown without a star? How will there be a crown without authority? We are experiencing delay, we are experiencing stagnation. The same way you are three years ago is the same way you are today. Don't you understand that there is an idol walking somewhere? Arise, O Lord, let be scatter, be destroyed. Having be for principalities and powers. Catch fire. He made so a show of them openly. Triumphing the over them. The victory is yours yes, already. If only you can pray. I want to tell you tonight. There are a lot of promises in the Bible. Good, good promises for us. They will never come to pass until you claim them. In the name of Jesus. Let's How will you, you claim them tonight when you don't have authority over them? Is there any power against my prosperity, against my family? Christ has the through. power to break that yoke. Christ has the power to set you free. Jesus. Christ has the power to bring you out of captivity. You run from this place, you run to this place, you see them there. You run from that place, you move to that another place, you see them there. My for you is that how long will you stop coming from one place to the other? I lose myself when you are of darkness. I want you to pray tonight. I want you to pray. Jesus. Lord in Jesus. Say, oh Lord, my God, any power against my prosperity, any power God is hearing you. God is hearing you. Jesus. Every power. And God is seeing your sincerity and your open mind. my my own progress. He will never hear the voice of his own and ignore. He will never ignore a burning prayer. I can ask that I'm casting Jesus. Say, every power that against If only you can call him, he's there to answer you. 
attack of spiritual war in their covenant, in their spiritual The rebellion. devil is in trouble tonight. Against my life and my family. Once my the secret is revealed oh, and everything is open, what is the secret? My in God the... has made a show of them God openly, triumphing the... over principality I and over powers. Over the name. You if cannot I'm harass the name. me anymore. I will come to you that. cannot I'll harass me. my destiny anymore. I will come in peace. Who has the final say over your life? Free it. I'm free it. They I'm say if you come to that village, you will be dead. Whose report will you believe? That land, that property that belongs to you, that enemy has gone there to evade. You can no longer go there again because you are afraid. Do you know the child of whom you are? You are a child of God. He might be my family. And he's going to my home. You are the oracle of the Almighty. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. He has fire. 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 fire for you. He took the battle because of you. He laid down his throne up there. And he came down here. Oh, Lord, my God, Father. You arise. You have dominion over principalities and powers. I will come sitter. I will come devil. I am happy to tell you that Jesus is a conqueror. power. I am happy to tell you that he has never lost any battle before. I got power. I got power. Go with this Jesus. You can never fail. I got power. Go with this Jesus. You have the authority. You have the power. You are a lawmaker in Christ. Whenever there is pain in your body, touch it now and command it to go. Whatever thing they have declared to your destiny, you have the power to reverse it now. Whatever arrow they have sent into your body, walking in your body, addressing your body, molesting you, Lord my God, arise, O Lord. And then if it's you can and command that arrow wherever it is, it will hear your voice. Because it is a stranger. Because it is a stranger. Because it is a stranger. When the city, O Lord, in my husband's family, in my own family, in the church, anywhere the cat, in my sister. So you will mention it and then it will jump out. There are some again, they use spirit of rejection. Any spirit of this spirit of rejection or spirit of hatred is in you by principalities backed up with rulers of darkness in high places. And you go to this place, they reject you. They go to that place, they reject your proposal. Nothing is working anymore. It is the devil in action. It is the devil in action. Don't wait till the devil rob you of your blessings. Don't wait till your, your children become a target in the hand of the enemy. If Christ overcome, you can, if Christ overcame, you can overcome. In the name of Jesus, you are coming, Satan. You are coming, devil. Power, darkness. In the name of Jesus. Every deposit of the devil in my life. They call it spirit of snake. When they release the venom into the body, you are beginning to experience different kind of things. It must go tonight. A life without a prayer is a spot in the hand of the devil. A prayerless life is just an empty box in the presence of the devil. You pray, your prayer go nowhere because you don't you don't even know the God you are praying to. But the ayam that I am is here today. He's ready to take away your body. He's here to take away your pain. That mark of rejection will leave your body now. The people that are supposed to help you, they have forgotten you already. You. It's not their fault. It's not their fault. It is the activity of principalities. It is the activity of power. Why we say we will wrestle against them? He did not say we will cast them out. Of. We will fight against them and defeat them. We will fight against them and defeat them. Is this how you will fight? 
Is this how you fight? Some people are fighting and they are sleeping. Some people are fighting and they are distracted already. You are not even praying this prayer like you should pray it. But do you know that some people, God is answering them as we speak now. They will say, turn the counsel of Ahitophel to foolishness. The foolishness end up in death for Ahitophel. Your enemy can be destroyed just with a simple prayer. Because God answers. There is no prayer you pray will not answer you. He will answer your prayer. Christ Jesus has the power. He has the power to pull down altars. He has the power to tear down altars of darkness. He has the power to destroy your enemy. He has the power to flush them out of your house, to flush them out of your ministry. Who say you will not pass that exam? Who say you will not marry? Who say you will not have a child? Who say it's going to scatter your home? The joy you are supposed to experience in marriage have been taken away. If you will pray to today, God will answer that prayer. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to In the name of Jesus, oh Lord my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you because I go to rob blessing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the hand of miracle, of deliverance, oh Lord. I will set free now. I'm free indeed. I'm free, I'm free indeed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Just name my prayer. Amen. I like the voice I am hearing. And I, in the name of Jesus, declare that every prayer you have prayed today, may the host of heaven attend to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. As the voice of the blind Bartimaeus ascended to heaven, and Amen. Jesus had that voice and it talked. And he says, I will not hear the sound of my handmaid's voice and ignore. As he answered that voice, may the Lord answer your voice in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord away your pain and your sorrow. Amen. May the Lord step into your matter. Amen. May the Lord flush out every handwriting of the devil from your home. The louder your prayer, the, the, the louder your amen, the bigger your miracle. Amen. Amen. Shall it be for you yes, and yes. your household in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There are some prayer points we need to attend to here today. Somebody has written. He said, My prayer request is that God should remember me. Oh my God. And some of my siblings looking unto him. For the fruit of the womb. Because his word says, none shall be barren in the land. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. As God remembered Mordecai, and a book of remembrance was opened for him, that even the king could not sleep, the Lord will remember this person. In the name of Jesus. And we are going to pray that the Lord will open the wounds. Look at this. In the name of Lord, I pray you for that womb. Jesus. 
I pray for you, sister. I pray for you, brother. That person that has written this prayer for you, and we should have fallen in that category. Holy Spirit, please go ahead and open their home now. I don't want to know what the enemy has done. For Lord, remember them now. Holy Ghost, remember them. Holy Ghost, remember them. Holy Ghost, remember them. Holy Ghost, remember them. Remember them now. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, touch that womb. Touch that womb. Whatever is tied in your womb. I command now in the name of Jesus, let it be broken, let it be removed right now in the name of Jesus. Every chain around your womb, every chain around your tummy, in the name of Jesus, I break it now, I break it now, I break it now, I break it now in the name of Jesus. Whatever is responsible for swallowing the fruit of the womb in you, I command now in the name of Jesus, let it be broken to pieces now. I command it break. I command I command it to break. I command it to break. I command it to break now. Another person has written. He said, please. Ha. For somebody to say, please, it convert your prayer. If brother A will pray for me, and sister B will pray for me, and every person raise up their voice because of me, I know God will answer. And therefore, this person say, please, I want God to heal me completely of the severe pain I am experiencing. On my two legs, on my two legs, on my two legs, on my two legs, on my two legs. I will share this testimony with you. Then I will lead you in this prayer. And after leading you in that prayer, I will pray for you. And that pain will disappear in the name of Jesus. You know, sometimes, some years ago, I was on a ministerial assignment. And so we went to fight a battle somewhere. After that battle, it was a very powerful program that God really did wonders. Should I tell you that the enemy fire arrow at me on my knee, on my both the right knee and the left knee? Hmm. And so each time I want to, I have to walk. I walk in pain. Now understand that I receive a. Uh, uh, invitation from different places. So I have to go and minister here. I have to go and minister there. The funny thing is that as I am going, I will be feeling the pain. And sometimes I will minister for four hours standing. And that pain will be there. I will be groaning in pain. Then I got home and I, and I told God, is this how this pain will continue? Am I going to live my life in pain? Should I end up with crushes? Will I end up in a wheelchair when I will not, when I could not carry my two legs? And I say, Lord, do a miracle for me. These okay. two legs will carry me to places where people will be delivered, where people will be liberated. As I pray, I woke up the next day. Jesus I was thinking of helping my myself out with the pain in my two legs. Lo and behold. I stood up, <laughs> you know. I did not even remember I had a pain. I did not even remember I was proposing to go to a doctor. I do not even remember I was hoping they are going to put a POP in my leg. All of a sudden, the pain disappeared. And it has disappeared now for so very long time. Since that time till this time, there is no pain. Amen. Wherever there is pain in that joint, Thank you, Jesus. I pray and I command in the name of Jesus, Whatever harrow and whoever shot that harrow okay. into that leg, the same way you heal me of that, that harrow, I command now that that harrow will jump out from that leg in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you 
to open your mouth and lift up your voice now for this meeting and say, Lord, take away that arrow now. Let that arrow disappear from that country. Shall we open our mouth and pray? You are God or impossible. Open your mouth. Touch that Open your mouth. It must go. It must go. And it will go now. And it will go now. Put your hand on that leg. Put your hand on that leg. Put your hand on that leg. It will disappear. In the name of Jesus. Anything pet in that leg, the bone, the water in that leg, go now, sis now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you said amen, I want you to say louder, amen. Amen. Somebody has written. He said. He said we should pray for him. Please pray for me that the cup, that this cup, should pass over me. This mm -hmm. cup should pass over me. I want to tell you, when you are talking about a cup, it's a cup of indignation, a cup of pain. Because the first person that used that word was Jesus himself. Do you know the agony in that cup? Do you know the pain in that cup? Do you know the weight that that cup is, that, that person is about to carry, which form the content in that cup? And he looked at it, Lord, if it is possible, let this cup pass over me. I don't know what you are going to do, but for you to say that cup should pass over you, I don't know the right time. We are going to pray for this person. That that cup of indignation, the cup of pain, that the enemy is proposing for him, let that cup pass over him now. Let the cup miraculously pass over him. Shall we open our mouth and pray? Pass over him in the name of Jesus. Let the cup of indignation pass over. Let it pass over now. Let it pass over. In the name of Jesus, let the cup pass over. Let it pass over. In the name of Jesus. Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Our faithful Father, we thank you. Thank you. We bless you, Lord, because you are God of appointment. Oh, yes. We had a time to gather here and pray. And we come in your name to gather and pray because we believe that you answer prayer. We know you answer prayer. We have seen it before. And our own cannot be an exemption. Lord, I pray that you will answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray uh, as many lifting up their voice towards you and they have prayed today and you heard them. My Lord and my Father, I pray. Their hope will not be dashed. Their Amen. faith will not end in frustration. In the Amen. name of Jesus, Amen. wherever there is pain, let pain disappear. Wherever Amen. there is a yoke, let the yoke be destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, give us testimony. Amen. Thank you, Father, because you. we believe it is done. In yes. Jesus' miraculous name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My phone, I will <laughs> start again. The job that Lord will continue to be our strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's every one of us, and the pastors has prayed for us, for everyone that said amen. I pray that your amen will not go in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Never gone, I mean, has never gone in vain. All of us know the, the meaning of amen. Yes, it is in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, that will be our portion in Jesus.
Amen. 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 If I look at it last, I think we are eight here, about six in YouTube. That's uh, uh, about 13 or something like that. Yes, we only more. Uh, be more, we always be more than that. I don't know why, but I know we will keep continue to increase our advertisement uh, and then awareness, and God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. There is something Amen. live in the uh, personally, and I want to bring a big challenge to every one of us today. By the power in the blood of Jesus, right, including me, including every one of you, we are going to be employer of the people in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In the job, uh, whatever job you are doing, if you have not employed people, you are working for people. And I always want to encourage people that, okay, if it's the pure water you are sending, try to be sending that pure water in back. Let people come and be buying from you. When you go to another place, or you have somebody at shop that people will come and buy from them. Uh, we have a lot of testimony on our platform. A good example is uh, 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 brother, uh, uh, our teacher, uh, brother Omorewa. We know how he started. We know where he is, he is now. Many of us, your humble your servant, we know where we started. We know where we are now. And then there's the challenge I want to bring to every one of us today is this. And if the challenge is too big, please, you will just forgive me. Many of us have not been able to discuss with our pastor. Many of them are uh, into deep, uh, deeply. But I know many of us, we are at our 50. If we use more 50, more, more another 50 years on earth again, God just love us. Do you accept me or not? Do you accept with me or not? If yes. we another 50 years, plus the 50 we are now, if for all of us, double your age. If by the grace of the Lord, we are going to more than that. We are going to be more than 120. We are going to be more than yeah. 130. But let's yeah. all be realistic. If we use another year, in double of what we are used, we have used already. God just loves us. That's the reason why we need to pray, pray seriously. And I know by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ah, so the important the our pastor have told us that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the secret will be given to us today, and we are going to see it. Uh the battle came into David. When the battle came, two wives have been carried away. If it is me, I doubt it on that day, if I would be able to call upon the name of the Lord, the way I will rush out. Because you are, they are telling me that my wife has been taken away, the children have been taken away, and I have the, I have the physical ability to pursue them. Let us be sincere to ourselves. Only few of us be able to say, God, what should I do? Before we take cutlass and then whatsoever we can use to pursue them. But David had the patience. I don't know how he had that kind of patience to able to ask for Almighty God that, Father, should I pursue them? Look at that question. They are taking the wives again away. There's a probability the only God knows what they are going to go and do for them. But if you have that patience, that Father, can I pursue them? Then Lord tell him, told him, pursue them, you will recover all of us. Amen. So we have come this morning, Almighty Father. That's why we are going. Father, what are those things that delay me, that do not let me move forward beyond <laughs> where I am now? What are those secrets? That be hiding. Let imagine God didn't answer him that pursued them. Or I don't want you to pursue them. You get what I'm saying? What will have happened to, to David? Maybe they will have gone the wrong way. Maybe they will have run after them without cap, capture without capturing them. Maybe something will have happened and delayed. But God answered him. 
pursued them. Recently, in the con confession, I was, I humbled myself. One of my pastors just saw me and said, he said, came. I mean, he said, come. And then I went to them in the prayer room. Then they prayed for me. Then they asked me a question. And I told them I saw that snake, very big, as I was praying. The, the, you know, when a snake, maybe our time has been going. Okay. When the snake uh, uh, wrapped somebody, I said, that's how the, the snake wrapped me. But when I was praying, the snake, uh, okay, the snake, <laughs> <laughs> the the snake unwrap and then he left. <laughs> now, they not pray for me seriously. The one, one the woman there said, "You need to have killed the snake." Mm -mm -mm. That's ability, the only few ability that I have. They seriously pray for me. By the time I came back. My next revelation is that I killed the snake. I saw it, and I, I killed that snake. Imagine the force has not come onto me that this is what you should do, this is what you should do. I saw that we must have had a lot of experience about what I'm saying. And then, if there's a, something that is hindering us, it's because we have not asked from God. I want us now to call upon the name of the Lord. Father, what is delaying my promotion? What is stopping me from not moving forward? What is limiting me, limiting my family? What is limiting me, limiting my husband? What is limiting me, limiting my wife? What is limiting me, limiting my children? What is that thing that is holding me up that I cannot achieve my dream? The Almighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Reveal them to me and let me move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Break that link. Break that link this morning. Set in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. You know, it's painting me. In the name of Jesus. You know where we are. In the, in the, in the ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Especially, physically. Father, in the name of Jesus. There is something that God is telling you now. I want you to know you can never have equal agreement with the sight of God. Or bigger than your own agreement. So if you are telling the devil thinking now, lay it under the cross. That you said, devil, I know this thing happened. But I'm laying there under the cross. You can't fight against this God plan in my life, devil. Oh my God, my prayer. This time so all things that is stopping me, that should not let me move forward in ministry, that should not let me move forward initially, that should not let me move forward physically, that should not let me move forward socially. Jesus, that is keeping me down, Almighty Father. As you are able to talk to David, that pursue it, you will recover all. Father, speak to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Open my eyes to see, open my ears to hear you. This afternoon, remove now. Do not forget those people who are elevated in the ministry, those people who are elevated physically. They are able to hear from God. More for peace, O Lord, more to drive them in Jesus. They're able to speak to the Lord and they're able to perform miracles in their life, in the life of others. They will be glorified in my life, O Lord. The Lord, that all hindrances they cast out, they destroy. In the name that do not let you able to hear that God, my son, my daughter, this is what I want you to do. That do not let me able to hear that God, my daughter, this is what I want you to do. The Almighty Father, remove it in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Invitation, embargo on my business or my family or my life. Open the name of the Lord. Jesus. Do not forget what I said. Until you become an employer. In this we find ourselves. There is no amount of money you can be called. You, you can be collected. That will be enough. For you to do what you want to become. 
in my soul. That is your set, is your mind that needs to be set. Call upon the name of Adam, reset my mind, oh Lord. You make me way. Whatsoever that is needed. Jesus. That you need to move forward physically, spiritually, call upon the name of the Lord. Father Jesus, to me in the name of Jesus, including me. Your uncle Savantier, that Father, I will be forward. In the remaining life, in the remaining years of my life, God, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, my money is your Lord. that is not among the people that were presented to somewhere. As Sarah, that power will find you, will find me. To overcome. And for this money, things are changing. The power are changing and the power of success is being given to us. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sir. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. As your soul is prosper. That's very good. If we are not making progress, God is not happy. Oh, that little thing you have, God can multiply it. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. As we pray and we declare, you shall never lack anything good. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit will begin to open your eyes to what you can do Amen. that we establish you. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My Lord and my Father, I pray that you will open resources of heaven. Amen. And bless your handmaid in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. We will not beg before we hit. We will not borrow before we hit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the Lord will open the door of favor for you. Amen. The door of upliftment for you. Amen. The door of promotion for you. Amen. The door of breakthrough for you. Amen. The door of open multiplicity for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, as we are experiencing this, our children will experience it. Amen. Amen. In all we lay our hands on, they will all prosper. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, confirm it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, those things that the enemy has stolen from us, Amen. the happiness, the love, the joy, the finance, Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration now. Amen. Let there be restoration now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Father, because it is done. Thank in you. Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Do not forget the God of the ego tomorrow. Let's share the grace together. It's the grace of God. Jesus Christ and the love of God, the spirit fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall be in the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir.